All right, speed three. Let's see if it's got the power. Ready, go. Nope. So what we are going to do today is we are going to test out the Hilti quarter inch hex drill driver. Now this is model number uh, SFD 2-A. I also have a DeWalt version of a quarter inch hex screwdriver uh, drill driver. Now what this pretty much is, this is a drill without a chuck. It has a quarter inch hex instead. I believe you could actually get a quarter inch hex chuck for these for these drills. It has the same power as a drill, but you're limited to using an only a quarter inch hex bit. Which that's not bad because most bits that people use nowadays are a quarter inch hex. So we are actually gonna do a little versus video between these two because these are the only two ones that I actually have. Now, unfortunately, I only have two, uh, two 2 amp hour batteries for the DeWalt Extreme 12 volt. For the Hilti, I have two 2.6 amp hour batteries and two 4 amp hour batteries. So the DeWalt does not ha actually have a drill uh, setting. It says max. This is a 15 point clutch as well. Then it goes to max, but I'm assuming max is just the, the drill setting. So the model number for the DeWalt is DCF601, 12 volt system, a variable speed trigger only, and this goes to zero to 1100 RPMs. And one more time on the Hilti, two speed settings. First setting is zero to 400 RPMs, and the second setting zero to 1500 RPMs. So this has a 400 more RPMs than the DeWalt 12 volt extreme. So we are going to do a test against the 2.6 amp hour battery versus the 2 amp hour battery. And then just for the heck of it, I want to see what this will do with a 4 amp hour battery. Alright, so as you can see for the DeWalt, the bit just pops right in. That's it. So we are going to do a half inch hole first. Alright, so ready, go. Time. Now this is a brushless motor on the DeWalt, so we're going to do one more hole. Ready, go. Very good. We're going to do one more. Ready, go. Battery is down to two bars. So let's switch over to the Hilti. Does it pop right in? It does not. You actually need to pull that. There we go. Battery is full. Forward would help. I'm going to start out again. Ready? Go. It is on speed two, it's on drill. Hole number two. Ready, go. There we go. There might have been not in that one. One more hole. Ready. Go. There we go. Not too shabby. All right, so we are going to do a test to see if these are capable of putting in a five inch spec. Do it right here. DeWalt. 
three uh, three bars three bars are back all right ready go there we go time alrighty we have one more spec right here all right so ready go The Hilti, Hilti cannot. Nope, Hilti cannot. All right, you know what? Just because we're gonna see if we put a four amp hour in the Hilti, if, if it's capable of doing it. All right, so ready, go. Let's see, let's switch it to number one. It cannot. Nope, Hilti cannot. Hilti cannot perform that. All right, so let's see if the DeWalt can. Let's see if the DeWalt can take these both out. Battery is still full. All right, so ready, go. No, they can't take that one out. Let's see if this one. Ready, go. All righty, so. The DeWalt can't take this one out, so that means that there's uh, this is in a knot. We're gonna see if the if the DeWalt impact can take it out. I'm pretty sure it can. All right, so ready, go. No, it cannot. Wow. All right, so we're gonna give the hill. We take that out. Give Hilti another shot. And last, before we go to an 18 volt, I want to give Hilti's quarter inch hex a shot. Use a fresh four amp hour battery. Go. It cannot. All right, 18 volt is required. We're gonna use. DeWalt Atomic, there we go, alright so ready, go, wow, alright that's really really in there, alrighty, DeWalt XR, alright so ready, go, wow, the XR failed to take that out, this is, this is in something thick, Try it again. Let's go to speed one. Speed two. Nope. X the DeWalt XR failed. Wow, this is being a little a little sucker. Alrighty, so before we go to the Milwaukee, we are gonna try the Ryobi. Let's see if the Ryobi can take this out. Alright, so ready? Go. At speed three, let's see if it's got the power. Ready, go. All right, so we'll go to speed one. Speed two. Nope. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do that manually. For this, we're gonna use Tac Life. Tac, my Tac Life torque bar. Wow, this is being a pain in the butt. See, I'll, I'll give you guys a little example. This is the reason why 
I don't believe every single test that I see when it comes to power and tools. Because the, the Milwaukee is supposed to be the best, the best uh, impact on the market, but yet it can't take this out. Sometimes you just need good old fashioned Yeah, I want to do a video first. Uh, the power of the most so one of the most powerful quarter inch hex impacts on the market can't take this out. I just want to show you. You ready? Nothing. Nothing. See, now I think it'll be take, now I think that could take it out. All right, let's do the impact. Oh, it, it actually broke. It actually broke the, it broke the specs. We are gonna give the Hilti one more shot because that was, obviously that's a, uh, a bad one. All right, so we have Hilti here. Gonna give it one more shot because, yeah. All right, so ready? Go. Very good. Non stop. All right, let's take it out. Wow. Very, very good. We are going to do a three quarter inch hole and we're going to see what each of them can do. All right. So ready, go. There we go, time. Last test for this. Last test. Ready, go. Speed one. There we go. It was all. It was already through. Highest reading is seventy nine on the Hilti, and the highest reading on the Dewalt fifty three. So the Dewalt ran cooler. Let's see if I can get it. Fifty three. The Dewalt ran much cooler. That's because of the brushless motor in there. It runs a lot cooler than a brushed motor. But this one had the power. I mean, I'm amazed that this one did that. All right, let's do the specs. Let's do a spec, the spec for the DeWalt one more time. We'll do it right. We'll do it right here. All right, so ready, go. Try another spot just in case. Ready, go. Nope, the DeWalt cannot do it without stopping. I just wanted to see if it, if it could do it without stopping. All right, but we are going to give it the benefit of the doubt. We're going to put a fresh battery in there. Let's see what happens. One more, one more time. All right, so ready, go. Nope, it is not capable of doing it without stopping. All righty. All righty, so that has been the versus video between the DeWalt Extreme quarter inch hex drill driver versus the Hilti quarter inch hex hill driver. 
Now, like I said, this one's brushed, this one's brushless, and I was amazed that this, none of my tools besides a torque wrench was able to snap this off. Now that's just a, that just goes to show you that whenever you see all of these versus videos and test videos of tools, that it's inconsistent. Uh, every single video, including mine, is inconsistent, and that's because of wood is inconsistent. That one that one knot in the wood made the Milwaukee uh, M18 fuel quarter inch hex impact fail at taking this back uh, screw out. And so yeah, that's supposed to be the most powerful quarter inch hex impact on the market, but yet that failed to take it out as well. So I just that just goes to show you that all these tests you see, they're inconsistent when it comes to versus videos. Yeah, that uh, the torque uh, torque bar just snapped that and snapped that right in half. So yeah, as you can see, what it's supposed to be. But yeah, so the, this has been the versus video. Both of them performed exceptionally well for a 12 volt system. And so yeah, that's, I love my Hilti, I love my DeWalt, I love all my tools. I'm a, this channel loves all brands. It's not coordinated anymore for one specific brand. So that's pretty much it. We are gonna do more tests with this with the bigger batteries that I have and different uh, style of the test and what we're gonna test it on. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.